Good morning, OJR. My name is Sydney Livingston. And my name is Jason Boy. And welcome back to the Ball Report. From what we've seen these past weeks, the fits around the school have been fire. We now go to Ava Bernheimer to see what's been heating up the hallways with Fit Check. Good morning, OJR. My name is Ava Bernheimer, and welcome back to the Paw Report. Today, I've been sent out to check out some of the OJR staff's best outfits. Who am I here with today? Tim Marco. This is Mr. Wallace here today. Hi, I'm Mr. Kolka. My name is Mr. Vokes. I teach earth science here at the high school. And what's your outfit like? Well, today, I'm wearing one of the colorful shirts that I like. This is by a designer who uh, enjoys skulls, but I like the, the varied colors in the shirts, just some basic jeans and some very comfortable leather sneakers. What do you think about Mr. Wallace's outfit today? Uh, it's, it's busy. It come, pulls off the uh, fun Professor Friday vibes. I went with the J. Crew Teacher Edition. Um, which I'm currently influencing for, so I have some influencing later over the weekend for that edition. Save 10% off. Uh, Mr. Marco is awesome at checkout. Do you think that his is better than yours, though? Uh, no, absolutely not. So my outfit today, I switched it up. Usually I wear a shirt and tie, but today I knew the Paw was coming, so I wanted to do something a little fancy. And what do you think about Mr. Vokes's outfit? You know, he always looks good. I was always impressed with him. He's been here for student teaching, so he, you know, he's got a pretty solid outfit, but for being honest, I think I take the cake today. You think you're more dapper than him? I just feel like I got the advantage. I think I'm favored in this situation. What do you think about Mr. Coca's outfit today? I think it looks very similar to something that I would wear. I think he's wearing an outfit. Do you think that there's like a science teacher stereotype going on here? Be honest. I, we seem to like quarter zips. Yeah, I noticed the trend. <laughs> Clearly, people who teach the same subject seem to dress the same too. This has been Ava Bernheimer reporting for FitCheck. Have a great day, OJR. Those outfits sure were sweet. Speaking of sweet, we now go to Colton with this week's episode of Cinemascopes. Cinemascope. And that's why chocolate factories are inventions of the devil. Huh. Hey, Jar, I'm Colton Waters. And I'm Evelyn Olson, the original movie recommender. And welcome to Cinemascope, where we discuss the hottest movie releases. Wonka is a fantasy comedy film following young Willy Wonka as he works to earn his iconic chocolate factory. The film is an original story that takes inspiration from the novels and notes of Roald Dahl, a notable English author who wrote other stories such as Matilda, the BFG, and Fantastic Mr. Fox. Now, I gotta say, going into this movie, I had one thought. Why does this need to exist? It just, I didn't get it much at first, and after seeing the movie, I'd say it still had no reason to exist, but it was a decent enough film overall in general, you know? I really like the whole musical concept put within Wonka because it reminds me of the other two movies, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and Roy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. And the casting was phenomenally well done, to be honest. Um, Timothy Chalamet, he did really well as Wonka. It's a very good movie. But I'd say with the musical, I thought it got really excessive to the point where there was a song every minute, pretty much. That's what it felt like. But, uh, you know, like I said, decent enough film. I can understand that. Well, better make sure to check out Wonka in theaters and on Max in a few months. Have a good day, and we'll see you at the cinema, OJR. Thanks for the review, Colton. Yesterday, we celebrated President's Day, which aside from being a day off, is a day made to honor our past presidents. In order to highlight some historic superstars, we present you with a very special President's Day wrap. <laughs> Yo, what's up? This is President Time. We are here to drop a President Rhyme. First, we'll start off with our favorite guy, our favorite founding father, and he's pretty fly. He can be found on the quarter of the dollar. If you're a fan of George, then give us a holler. Next up, next up is a man on the five. We were all wishing he was still alive. In America, he worked to free every slave. That's why we love him and call him honest ape. We wanted to mention he was as grand. But when it comes to remember him, we can. Another U.S. favorite, we call him Roosevelt. Environmental conservation, what he dealt. Now we are talking about William H. Cap. His ego so big, he got stuck in the back. Herbert Hoover, we remember still. He felt a great depression about making Hooverville. JFK, what a wonderful guy. He sent our space program into the sky. Lyndon B wants to show us all his power. He made a curd commercial about a girl about a flower. Nixon has some problems. He tends to frustrate. The only thing we love from him was lying. Watergate. I'm in Clinton and I like to get frisky. I don't know nothing about Monica Lewinsky. During his presidency, we got Osama. That's right, his name is Barack Obama. That leads us all the way to today. From the Power Board, Happy President's Day!
That sure was interesting. What's more interesting is this week's Wildcat moment. Hi, my name is Kael Permanti and I'm a senior at OJR. I'm the captain of the OJR ice hockey team and I also play club hockey for the junior players. I got into hockey at five years old. Um, some big inspirations were my dad, Danny Breer, who played on the Flyers. Um, and ever since I've been really into hockey. I would say scoring the game winner uh, overtime goal against Boyertown. Uh, it was in the pack semifinal and it was just a big moment leading into the championship, which we won. My plan is to continue my hockey career and play junior hockey. I'm drafted by the Green Bay Gamblers. That's where I hope to play next year. Again, this is Kale Permanti and this is my Wildcat moment. For OJR, that's all we have for you today. Have a great Tuesday.